A while ago, I purchased this National Geographic chemistry set, and I had so much fun with it that I decided to buy another. This time I bought a kit made by Unglinga called 70 Science Experiments. And to be honest with you, it was actually pretty disappointing. It only came with the supplies to do about 20 experiments, which is fine. It's just not what I was expecting based on the title. Right now I'm showing you clips of the best experiments from the Unglinga set, and they're okay, but they're nothing compared to the reactions in the National Geographic set. That set had a lot of really dramatic color changes, glow-in-the-dark stuff. I even got to make a bouncy ball out of the National Geographic set. It was just a ton of fun to play with. Some of the experiments in the Anglinga set had really unclear instructions, and a lot of the experiments just didn't work at all for me. Like that one, it was supposed to turn blue, but it didn't. These crystals just aren't very impressive. Some of the experiments were strange. I'm not sure what the point of this one is. I'm just putting food coloring on wax on a paper towel. That's it. Some of the experiments failed, causing a mess like that. Uh, or in this case, this balloon is not supposed to pop when I put it in a candle, but it pops. In general, using the Sanglinga kit made me even more appreciative of the high quality of the National Geographic set. And if you're looking for a fun set of at-home chemistry reactions, I recommend picking up anything made by National Geographic. They have a huge variety of sets over a range of prices. The experiments which I'm showing you right now are reliable, easy, and they are a ton of fun. I'm going to link to some of my favorite National Geographic sets in the description to this video and in the comments below. And hey, if you use one of my links to purchase a National Geographic set, I actually earn a little bit of commission, which is super cool and very much appreciated as I am a single mom with a kid in college. I thank you all so much for your support.